Zoax.net. Lesson 1, Inline Styles. We are going to begin styling with the simplest type of style designation, the inline style. Inline styles are created via the style attribute. The style attribute is universal in that it can be applied to any type of element. Here we have a paragraph of text. The style attribute is added to the paragraph element so that it applies to all the text inside it. The style just sets the text to red instead of the default black color, but I want to use this simple example to introduce some terminology. We set the value of the style with a declaration. The declaration here is everything inside the quotation marks. Declarations consist of a property and a value. In this case, the property is color and the value is red. The property color indicates the foreground or text color, and the value red indicates that it should be red. Between the property and its value is a colon to separate them. At the end of the declaration is a semicolon that indicates the end of the declaration. So when we open this document, we see that the text is red as we expect it to be. The format of the specification allows styles to be clearly defined. We can even apply multiple styles at once, as we do here in our second example. In this example, we have two style declarations. Recall that each style declaration ends with a semicolon, and within the declaration, we have a property and a value separated by a colon. So in this example, we set the color, which is the text color, to dark olive green, and we set the background color to misty rose. We now have two declarations in one style attribute, but we can put as many as we would like in it. Opening this document, we see our dark green text on a light red background. These are defined by our color values dark olive green and misty rose. These color names may seem a little obscure, but you can find a table with all of the names of the colors on our website at zoax.net. For our third and final example, we have two paragraphs of text contained inside a div. All three elements are styled. The div, which contains everything, has its background color set to beige. The first paragraph has its text color set to orange, while the second paragraph's text color is set to indigo. Opening this example in the browser, we see the paragraphs each in their own text color, but with the same beige background color that was used for the div element. This example demonstrates that inline styles are applied to individual elements. It also demonstrates that the style of elements can affect the elements that they contain. Inline styles are only the simplest type of styling, and they only style one element at a time. More sophisticated methods for styling that allow us to style groups of elements will be covered in the upcoming videos in this series.